Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome to the bathroom again. Today I'm going to be doing an updated hair routine. I am going to be using an Olaplex treatment in this one because I did dye it sort of peachy pink colour last week and yeah, it just, it's really overdue an Olaplex treatment so I'm going to do that as well. So yeah, I'm going to take you along for the ride. Now that I am satisfied that it's all covered in Oplex, mostly the ends because it's been bleached, I'm going to leave that now while I go and have some lunch. So it'll probably be about like half hour, 45 minutes or so. Hi, welcome back. It's been like 45 minutes, maybe an hour um, since I put the Oplex on and it's pretty much, it's like crispy dry now. <laughs> so I'm going to take this out. Um, and this does need to be shampooed out, so I'm going to rinse it and then shampoo it. Products I'm using today are the Naughty Wave Hello shampoo. I used this last time, I still use it. It's pretty decent. I haven't really experimented much with shampoos yet. Then we've got the Garnier Banana Hair Mask 3-in-1 that I use for deep conditioning and as a leave-in. The Cantu uh, Moisturising Curl Cream and shockwaves. I use number three but I've got a number five in the drawer that I haven't used yet. This ring light's like a bit dodgy so yeah we're going to be moving around a bit I think. Ah, I've got on. Oops. Right so shampoo just like I don't know, a small amount, the normal amount that people use. Rub your fingers straight into the roots, so like right in there. My hair's pretty knotty at the moment, so it's really unmanageable. Um, I don't know why, it just, I think it needs a trim. Detangling is going to be fun today, by the look of this. Now that shampoo's done, it's time for more deep conditioner. Uh, deep conditioner. I do this every time I wash. Not that much. Big amount of the banana hair food, enough to like cover, you know, your hands. Um, and just smother her in. This is where most of the like the looser knots will come out and the shedding starts. Yeah, I'm gonna start sort of brush my fingers through it a little bit. I'm not gonna push it too much or anything, I'm not gonna like pull up my hair, but if there's bits that are gonna come out, then I might as well tease them out gently with my fingers. I do have a wide tooth comb, I'll probably use later, but for now I'm just gonna use my fingers because I can, you know, feel the knots a bit more. Ow, there's a big one there. <laughs> feel the knots more with your fingers, and you know, you know, you know when like, yeah, the hair's being pulled too much. This is the only time that I sort of brush my hair as well. Um, but I'm getting the knots out. I don't brush it when it's dry, I don't brush it before a shower, I just don't, I don't brush it at all. So far, I've pulled it up into one ball, we've got this much hair. Now that deep conditioner's on, I'm going to leave that on for about 10 minutes or so. Usually this would be when I like wash, um, shave, all that bath stuff or shower stuff, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back to you in about 10 minutes. Hi, we are back. It's been like 10, 15 minutes. I should have checked the time really. I've got a watch on, but I didn't. <laughs> oh well, it's been like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to rinse it off the deep conditioner. <laughs> There is water above, but that's it now. So now it's on to styling. I'm using the hair food still, just a little bit all over. 
once I've done that, I've like, literally just from the ends, not the whole head. Um, once I've done that, I am going to go back in with my fingers and make sure there's no knots left in there. And the last, last bit of hair is going to come out because it's not much. It's that like little extra bit. That's all it was. So I'm just going to add that into like, the ball that we already had. Um, which is, yeah. Yeah, now for styling. So I'm going to put up the very back section. Where we put up all the hair and leave the back section out. Sure, you know what I mean. So I've just got this tiny bit. It has got some of the deep conditioner, but not much. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more just on my fingers, but the tiniest amount, and just run that through. And then get the curl cream, just a tiny, tiny amount, literally just that amount. I've still got some of the leave-in conditioner on my fingers as well, so I'm gonna rub those together. Let's smooth that in. And then I like to rinse my fingers off because I've still got a lot of product on them. Here's grab a section. They tend to like form their own little clumps. And so like that will be a good clump. I'll be all with two fingers. Start to curl it like that. And then roll it up. I hope that made sense. So like, let's try again. Curl it. So the actual like the strand twists and then into the fingers. I uh, do that slowly the whole way around my head. Some of the like clumps go quite big, some of them quite small, but we just do whatever the hair wants to do, you know. I think I've got a time lapse of me doing this, so I might put that finish in here. Time for mousse. So I'll flip my head upside down, work my hands a little bit, scrunch, and then just to like make it a little more. Put them out. I apply it in a sort of prayer motion, prayer hands motion, not too squeezy though. Um, and then scrunch it. for the bath part <laughs> now the bath's draining and that noise is going to be really annoying and my hair's still sort of pushed forwards i get my what i would use as a like a turbid towel i don't actually use it as that anymore and i just scrunch out any water and then i go and get dressed brb and then once i'm dressed i get a t-shirt and scrunch it a little bit more because it just helps speed up drawing time and then i leave it to air dry from there so i will come back tonight when it's dry because it takes like a couple of hours um it's a pretty humid day so it's probably gonna take a little while longer than that although i might blow dry it a little bit just because my head's gonna be cold actually yeah no i am i'm gonna blow dry it a little bit <laughs> so i hover diffuse with the middle heat setting and the lowest speed setting. This honestly takes ages, so yeah, I think that's as blow dried as i'm gonna do it today it has taken quite a lot of it out it's actually like i don't know maybe 40 percent dry maybe 50 even it's feeling a little bit crunchy because i put a little bit more mousse in so yeah i'll come back to you when it's dry i am doing a voiceover because i filmed this at i don't know like 11 o'clock that night and i was pretty tired so i didn't want to record an actual video but this is what my hair looked like the whole way around it's a little bit flat at the back and a little bit more wavy at the back than I usually like. This bit didn't curl at all, but underneath there are some lovely curls. My lower layers do tend to go way more curly than the top layers, probably due to all the, like the heat and the heat and bleach damage. Like this curl that's really ringlety. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!